Hello, this is Shuan from LearnerCon, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through implementing MQTT communication with Siemens IoT 2050 and S7 1500 PLC. In this example, PLC plays the role of publisher, Mosquito is the broker, and Node-RED is the subscriber. Keep in mind that the broker and subscriber are two applications that are installed on IoT 2050. If you don't know how MQTT communication with Node-RED works, I recommend to watch my previous video that I explained how to implement MQTT communication in Node-RED. Okay, in this example, my CPU is at IP address ending to 20 and my IoT 2050 is at IP address ending to 1. And Mosquito is accessible from port 1883. Okay, so let's get started. I have created a project in TI portal with one CPU 1513, set it at IP address 200.20, and no program. With the TI portal version 15 that I'm using, there is no specific function block to support MQTT communication. So I have to download the required library from Siemens website. Here is the page from Siemens website that provides the example and require a library for MQTT communication. I've copied the link to this page in the description. As I'm using TI Portal version 15, I have to download this specific library file, which includes the LMQTT publisher function block. Keep in mind that to download some file from this website, you may need to register and sign in. Okay, so I've already downloaded and extracted the zip file. Next, I have to import the library into TI Portal. For that, I need to click on the Library tab on the right, and then click on the green button and point to the file, LMQTT, and open it up. Then the function block and folders will appear in the global library. Okay, now I open my main OB. And from the LMQTT library, I drag and drop the LMQTT publisher into OB1. To configure this function block, I need two groups of parameters. First, I need to establish a TCP connection then I need to create an MQTT communication. To make it simple, the library already included a template that has all this required parameter in a form of data block, LMQTT underscore data. So I can drag and drop that into my program folder. As you may see in the detail view, there are two main items, data TCP and data MQTT. So these are the parameters for TCP connection and MQTT communication. So I can drag and drop them on the TCP con parameter and MQTT parameter. Okay, so this is the main setup. Now I need some bits and bytes to trigger this function block and monitor the status. To make it straightforward, I'm going to use the same data block and create all the required bits and bytes in there. Okay, I'm going to create some entries after the last row in the DB and then add some placeholder. So I need two bits here. There we go. Type boolean. Publish. TCP established. MQTT established. Published. Okay. 
using our the last two item or type of more than double word. Okay, next I'm going to connect all the tags to the function block. So we can simply drag and drop them here. Okay. Okay, I'll go just save the project. Okay. Next, I have to make sure all the parameters in the data block are aligned with my setup. So I open the data TCP part, and first thing is the IP address. So I have to change it to 192, 168. 300.1. That's the IP address of the Siemens IoT 2050. So the port MQTT is listening at port 1883. So that port is good. Connection ID needs to be just some number and then hardware identifier by default is 64 for 1500 CPU. Next is the data MQTT communication setup. So I open this part, and here are a lot of parameters that has been used for this example. So I'm going to change the, I'm going to remove them all, and then I'm going to insert the one I would like to use. Also, there are some parameters in the connect flag section. So clean session will have it uh, active, one means active. I'm not gonna use will in this example, quality of service I don't need to change. I'm not gonna use user and password, so I change them to false. And that's it. Okay, so for MQTT communication, all I need is a topic and a message. So I put a topic here. Keep in mind that topic and message are both a type of string and needs to be placed inside a quotation mark. Okay, so as topic, I'm gonna use like a room temperature. And the message would be, it is too cold. Actually, it's winter here. Okay, all good. Uh, that's all I need for now. So save and compile and download. Okay, and I try to go online with the CPU. Okay, now I try to trigger this function block and then see if it 
establish connection with the IoT 2050. So I toggle the enable bit. Yes, okay, so we got an error. So the error code is ADC5. And then no, connect, no TCP connection has been established. So to diagnose this problem, uh, I need to look at the help of the function block for TCP communication, which is basically TCOM. So I go to instruction and then look at the help for the TCOM. And then check for that code. It was ADC5. So ADC5 means the connection partner refuses to establish the connection. So that means that the Mosquito broker doesn't accept this connection request coming from S7 PLC. Okay, so we need to make sure uh, the setup of the MQTT broker on the IoT 2050 is correct. To do that, I need to access the IoT module using Potty Terminal. Okay, I've already set it up here. Mosquito has a configuration file that is located in the Mosquito directory. So I change to that directory. So the file name is the mosquito.conf. So I need to edit this file and make sure everything is correct. So I can use the default VIM editor. It's a kind of old school editor, but works fine for what we need. Okay, so by default, Mosquito Broker doesn't accept external connection out of the boundary of IoT modules. So that means like a connection request coming from a PLC is considered an external connection. I need to add some keywords here to unblock that part. So the keyword is hello. Underscore anonymous true. And also the listener and the port number. Okay, now I need to restart Mosquito. Okay, and then I try again. So switch back to TR portal. Okay, turn enable off and on. Okay, now it's working. So TCP established is true means that the TCP connection between the PLC and IoT module has been established. Also, MQTT established is true. It means that the broker is ready to accept messages from publishers. Okay, now I need to configure my node red to be able to see the message that has been published by the PLC and received by the node red as subscriber. Okay. Okay, here I have my node To subscribe a message in node I just need to use uh, MQTT in. And to be able to see the message, I'm going to use a debug node. So connect the MQTT subscriber to the debug node. And all I need to configure my MQTT subscriber node. So actually, since the Mosquito Broker is running on the same module, so my local, my server would be local host and then uh, at the port 1883.
just need to insert my topic here, which was room temperature. Sit down and deploy. And all good. So it's connected to the broker. So and it's uh, ready to receive messages. Okay. So all I need is just to publish a message from the PLC side. For that, I can split the screen. Okay, now I'm able to see both the screen at the same time. So if I click here and then trigger publish, I get a message. It's too cold in the node. Okay, so that was all. Pretty straightforward. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would be thankful if you like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you and bye-bye.